hello and welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to we are on um, a farm and then we are going to try to make feed for the pigs over here so you are going to get right with me into this farm and then we we'll see what we have here so in this video we are going to look at the pigs over here based on their sizes to tell if they are winners they are growers or the lactating pigs and then the souls that are getting ready to be mated as well as the meals we are going to give them different feeds, so we have to get their number so that we make the feed for them. So let's get right into today's video. We are going to check on the number of pigs that are here, and then based on that number, we are going to prepare feed for them later on. So we are just going to check um, the number of pigs of different ages today, and that's what I'm here to do. So currently, I'm I'm somewhere in Suedro, specifically um, around the Bojasi area in Kwanta, in Ghana. So, yeah. I'm sure that's somewhere. Yes. So that you, you can rest on it. So, how long can it take to get a seat? The feed. Mm. Yeah, so now that I have the number, I'll just um, work out. So maybe I know that now I know winners are how many count? How many did we get? No, the winners. This one we have twenty-four. Yeah, twenty-four. Then the winners are the uh, the growers. The, 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 you know the growers. This place is eleven. Mm -hmm. Then eleven. We counted up to here was 24. 24? Yes. So 24 here. Mm -hmm. 20, uh, this and this. The growers are 24. Yes. And the winners are uh, there's 8 here, there's 6 here. Okay. Making 14. 14. Then I believe the so mother's. 14 team, winners. 24 growers. 24 growers. Okay. okay. Which side? Which side? It ended it. Oh, okay. Until they started giving them, I had to extend to. I had to extend six weeks. Mm. So. So it means right now you're having about ten rooms here. Yeah, ten rooms. Okay. So uh, we are planning to go this way. This to then decide it, okay. Yeah. So we have um, 24 and 14. Yeah, then 14. let's get the number of souls. Only one meal. Only one meal, so the mothers. The mothers, let's say they are one or one has been left and one is pregnant, so let's say they are left with five. Five. So 14, 24, 5. So that's 43. Yeah. 44. So the total number is 44. Okay. Hello. Are three days old. I think they are a little cold, so we are going to put. I 
just went around the farm with the farm manager. So we've gotten the number of pigs we are going to spread their feed for. So we have um, 22 growers, we have 12 winners, we have one lactating mother, that is one lactating soul, we have one pregnant soul, and then five that are getting ready to be crossed, and then we have one meal. So we are going to get ahead and then plan the meal for them. Before we get into preparing the feed for these pigs, we should note that it is very important that pigs get a well-balanced diet in order for them to gain the right amount of weight. Hence, it is important to ensure that your pigs are fed with the right amount of nutrients to enable them to grow very well. And then these nutrients are proteins, carbohydrates, micronutrients, among others. Some of the protein sources are fish meal, blood meal, soya beans, and the carbohydrate sources are maize, millet, wheat, cassava meal, and etc. We also have fillets that are meant to just keep them full. Over here, we are going to prepare the feed for the pigs using these four ingredients. That is maize, soya bean, fish meal, and then maize bran or wheat bran. So these are our four ingredients. So the protein sources are the soya bean and then the fish meal, whilst the carbohydrate sources are the maize and the maize bran. So guess what we are going to use? We are going to use our Pearson square to calculate the amount of each ingredient that are going to need to prepare feed for pigs at the different stages of their lives. So now before we start, let's get to know the DCPs of the ingredients. The DCP of maize is 8.23%. The DCP of maize bran is 7%. The DCP of soya beans is 45%. And the DCP of fish meal is 55%. At every stage in the life of the pig, it requires a different DCP, that is digestible crude protein. So at the um, starter stage, it requires a certain DCP, which is 18%. And then at the grower stage, it requires a certain DCP, which is 17%. And, at, and then at the finisher stage, it requires a DCP of 16%. And then for a lactating soul, it requires a DCP of 12%. In our previous video, we learned that when pigs are around two weeks old, we start giving them a feed known as creep feed. So let's let's see how we are going to formulate this creep feed. For creep feed, maize bran is not added since it is a filler and the pigs do not have a lot of carbohydrate digesting enzymes to digest this. And also it contains less protein. So for creep feed, the DCP is 22% like I already said. So using the Pearson square, we'll be combining soya bean and fish meal in a ratio of 2 is to 1. And then our maize will just be alone without maize bran. So the ratio is just one, a whole one for the maize. Now let's find the weighted mean. The weighted mean is basically the portions of the ingredient times the DCP of the ingredient. So for maize, you're going to have one times 8.23, which is going to give us 8.23. And then for soya beans, we have two times 45, which is going to give us 90%. And then for fish meal, we have one times 55, is going to give us 55. The total weighted mean for the cereals is going to be only that of maize, so 8.23 over the total portions, which is 1, and that will give us 8.23%. And the total weighted mean of the proteins is going to be that of soya beans plus fish meal over the total portions. So that will be 90 plus 55 all over 2 plus 1, and that will give us 145 over 3 which is equal to 48.39%. So now on our Pearson square, we are going to have the total DCP for crib feed, which is 22% in the middle. And then we are going to have the weighted mean of cereals on the top left-hand corner. And then the weighted mean of proteins on the bottom left-hand corner. We're going to find the parts of proteins and the cereals that we need. So we are going to subtract. So we have 22 minus... 8.23 which will give us 13.77 that will be the part of proteins so we'll put that answer at our bottom right hand corner and then we're going to subtract 22 minus 48.39 and that will give us 26.39 so we'll put that answer at our top right hand corner so that's the parts of cereals so let's calculate the total parts so that will be part of protein plus parts of cereals so that will be 
13.77 plus 26.39 and that will give us 40.16 so to find the percentage of cereals we are going to have 26.39 which is the part of cereals all over the total parts that is 40.16 times 100 and that's going to give us 65.71 now to find the percentage of protein that we need it to give it to be 13.77 which is the part of protein over the total parts which is 40.16 times 100 and that will give us 34.29 percent so this tells us that in order to make the feed we need 65.71 percent of cereals and 34.29 percent of protein mix so the protein mix let's see how let's let's see the percentage of soya bean and fish meal in there because the maize will take the whole 65.71 since we didn't add any maize bran so over here for the protein mix remember we mix it in a ratio of two is to one so the total ratio is three so to find the percentage of soya beans that we need is going to be two over the total which is three times 34.29 and that will give us 22.86 that is the percentage of soya beans that we need and then for fish milk is going to be one over three times the 34.29 and that will give us 11.43 so that means that that's the percentage of fish meal that we'll be needing so that's all for creep feed so we will do similar calculations for the starter stage the grower stage and then the lactating so but then without the talking to make this shorter so i'm just going to calculate it quickly over here
done with that. Now we are going to find the kilograms of maize, maize bran, soya bean, and the fish meal that we need to prepare the feed for these pigs. So we are going to prepare 50 kilograms each of crib feed, grower feed, starter feed, and lactating feed. We know that for crib feed, we need 65% maize, 23% soya beans, and 11% of fish meal. In the kilograms of each one, we have maize to be 66 over the percentage 100 times 50 kg and that will give us 33 kg of maize now for soya beans we have 23 over 100 times 50 kg and that will give us 11.5 kg and then for fish meal we have 11 over 100 times 50 kg and that will give us 5.5 kg of fish meal so let's move on to the next which is the starter feed take 50 kg of starter feed we need 50% of maize, 25% maize bran, 17% of soya bean, and 8% of fish meal. Prepare 50 kilograms of the starter feed. We have maize to be 50 over 100 times 50, and that will give us 25 kilograms of maize. And then for maize bran, we have 25 over 100 times 50, and that will give us 12.5 kilograms of maize bran. And then for soya beans, we have 17 over 100 times 25 and that will give us 0.5 kilograms of soya beans and then for fish meal we have 8 over 100 times 50 and that will give us 4 kilograms of fish meal so let's move on to the next which is the grower feed we need 51 percent of maize 26 percent maize bran 15 percent soya beans and 8 percent fish meal so let's find the kg of each ingredient needed so for maize, we have 51 over 100 times 50, and that is going to give us 25.5 kilograms. And then for maize bran, we have 26 over 100 times 50, and that is going to give us 13 kilograms. For soya beans, we have 15 over 100 times 50 kilograms, and that's going to give us 7.5 kilograms. And then for fish meal, we have 8 on 100 times 50, and that's going to give us 4 kilograms. So let's move on to the next, which is the finisher feed for finisher feed we need 53 percent maize 27 percent maize bran 13 percent soya beans and seven percent fish meal so let's find the kilograms of each ingredient needed to make the 50 kg bag of finisher feed so for maize we have 53 over 100 times 50 kg which is going to give us 26.5 kilograms then for maize bran we have 27 over 100 times 50 which is going to give us 13.5 kilograms so your beans we have 13 over 100 times 50 and that is going to give us 6.5 kilograms then for fish meal we have 700 times 50 kilograms and that's going to give us 3.5 kilograms to make the feed more palatable and more nice we can add pig premix to the feed and then we can add salt too to each of the feeds, we can add these two ingredients to it. Premix is made up of a mixture of vitamins, trace minerals, and then medicaments, feed supplements that help maximize feed nutrients value to optimize the performance in pigs. So if you add it to your, your, your feed, it is going to help your pigs to grow very well. So this brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for staying. I hope you learned something and see you next time. So till then, bye.